Congratulations on the new contract. Just a few words on how that came about and how you celebrated the news. Well, I think it was quite uh, quite fast and quite easy. You know, we, we started uh, talking and uh, I think it, uh, with managers, I don't feel it's so important a contract than with uh, with players. At the end, managers, you know, you have to perform well, you have to keep winning games. Otherwise, you are going to be in trouble. It doesn't matter the contract you have. So I think it's more a matter of renewing the confidence. I think uh, it has been our first uh, season together and uh, I'm, I'm happy that, that uh, everyone is is in a, in a good place and, and we can continue working together. How did you celebrate? No, nothing, nothing special. <laughs> nothing special. No, I'm happy obviously because it, it means like a, a, a proof of, of confidence, but uh, no, I didn't do anything special. For the last time this season, what's the team news ahead of the Chelsea match? Yeah, it's difficult because we still have two days until the game, but I don't think it will change a lot from the one we had uh, the the other day. No, I think probably we will try with Romain that he was out. It was uh, just the ankle. I think he will he will try to be available. Uh, Meps is improving also. Uh, it's I don't know if he will arrive, but. Uh, I think we are finishing in a, in a better place at least the, the the season, yes. There's a few factors that could influence it, but you could finish in the top 10. That sounds quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, I think uh, we missed a big chance no, the other day against Brentford uh, to, to, to continue in this 10th position. Now we, we are 11th. We know we have a very difficult game, but uh, uh, also, it's the same from a lot of teams that are around us. So we have uh, we are playing against uh, teams that are in in the top six, top seven positions. So it's not going to be easy for for anyone around us. When you arrived at Bournemouth, did you think it was going to go as well as it has done for you? You don't know really. When you arrive in to a new place, uh, you don't know uh, how you will do. You expect that things go well. But uh, I think we've, I like that we've gone improving during the season, no? And we've, uh, in, uh, you know, that we finish the season and you look, but at the stats and you try to separate everything, analyze everything, and things that you can improve for next season. I think we've been improving in a lot of different areas, and I hope we can continue uh, the same way. You're a manager of the season nominee. So, what have been the highlights for you from your point of view? It's difficult uh, for me to say just one game or, or this game. No, I think overall, I think we've uh, we've become a, a better team, and uh, our our results have been quite logical. I would say, no, we've been much better against teams that are lower than us. Uh, we've been worse against teams that are higher than us in the in the standings. But overall, we've been quite consistent during all the during all the season. It's been a mixed season for Chelsea, but they're currently on a good run of form. You mentioned there about yeah. the teams you should be beating, teams you haven't. How do you see Chelsea going into this one? For me, they are playing really, really well. They are in a very good run, and I think uh, it's going to be a very, very difficult game. Uh, they are finishing very, very strong. They have uh, very good individual threats. And they have obviously players finishing the season called Palmer, Nicola Jackson, uh, I think they've recovered a couple of injured players that gave them more more options also. So I think it's going to be really difficult because the level they are playing right now is, for me, is, is, is very, very high. You've got two of the most informed Premier League strikers going up against each other. Do you have to have any special plans into how to deal with Cole Palmer? It's very difficult, obviously. Uh, sometimes you cannot only focus in Cole Palmer. We know that he's playing very well, making the numbers. He's a big threat, but uh, all the players around him they are also in a in a very good moment, no? And they have, uh, I could say, almost all the their lineup, no? Because they are uh, all 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 a threat and they are really dangerous with the spaces. Very good, also individual skill without the spaces, playing between the lines. So uh, for me, we are playing against a team that. It's finishing very strong, probably with the teams that are fighting for the title are the, the ones finishing stronger this season. 
so I expect a similar game we had against Arsenal not long ago and we have to improve our level if we want to give them a game because they are they are winning games quite easy I would say and with the form they're in and the pressure Mauricio Pochettino was on in under earlier in the season does it show that sometimes you just need to persevere with the manager because eventually they can figure things out yeah, Mauricio is a top manager. He has showed it not this season. He has shown it during all his career. And I think he, you can see, you know, watching Chelsea, they are improving week to week. They are finishing very strong. They can finish even fifth the season. And he probably if they have more games, they will be fighting for the Champions League, no? And uh, I know the the level they have, and uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for us. This, uh, this is something that we have very clear. And just finally from me, once the match is over, what are your plans for the summer before pre-season starts? I do have a lot of plans for the, for the summer. I have to continue here because kids still continue at, at the school. So I will try to, try to help the club, with the, especially with the scouting and, and, and these things and try to find also time for me and for the, for the family. Thank you. Thank you. Just before we stop. Uh, could do, yeah, just on yeah. Milos back available now, yes. isn't he? how eager is he to play off having a long wait on the sidelines? Yes, it has been difficult for Milos because he is very energetic. He wants always to push, train, train well, and three weeks has been a lot for him. And he is willing to 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 play and to play, perform well. And uh, he's I think he was playing really well when he got the red card. And uh, yeah, he's he's available for tomorrow. Yes. And then just on the, the team, is there any thoughts of looking at our players ahead of next season or is it all on getting the win at Chelsea? Is there any, any mind turned towards? I've been uh, thinking mostly in winning games and getting the points and this is our focus. No, Obviously you have to also uh, sometimes try things uh, thinking in the future. Uh, we've tried different things, different combination of players. But uh, this is the smallest part of the decision, I would say. No, first we want to finish strong, put the best team we can. But it's true that sometimes you think, okay, I want to try and uh, play this player with this player this way, and probably this this is the best moment to try. You know, yeah.